Day five is a milestone. It's the hatchlings' final day as hatchlings. And Marie is running her own version of a Grubhub. Six trips in under two hours? Two grubs per chick. Some fuzzy, some plump, one still a pupa. All alive. She delivers each meal with precision. No missed orders, no complaints. This bird basically offers a five-star service without even asking for a tip. Their eyes open today. They're black as night, pupilless, shaped like pointed ellipses. Sparse fur now coats their bodies, and their crowns have sprouted dark mohawks. Yesterday, their forearm showed the beginning of thick, black, leathery feathers. Today, they have refined into early rimages, the long, stiff wing feathers that will eventually power their flight. Rimages include the primaries and secondaries for the aerodynamic workhorses of the bird wing. You can think of them as the oars or rudders of flight. Primaries for thrust, secondaries for lift. Right now, they're just forming but they'll already reshape the hatchlings' silhouettes. They're growing fast, and Marie is trying to keep up. Her partner sings in the background. He's helping, sort of. Sometimes he waits on the fence with food, so she doesn't have to fly as far. But today, we've only heard him. Marie is the one doing the heavy lifting and the feeding. The nest is spotless, and if you've been keeping track of the menu, it's basically a hit list of garden pests. Caterpillars, crickets, snails, flies, grasshoppers, beetles, and even the occasional spider. If your yard is full of what Marie is serving, then maybe Carolina wrens might be your best pest control. She's not just feeding hatchlings, she's restoring balance one grub at a time. Thank you again for joining us. We'll keep you posted as day six unfolds, and they officially enter the nestling stage of their development. Subscribe to follow Marie and her young birds as they take their next step towards fledglinghood. I'm Lawrence with Indeedy Blue.